Great. Um, I just want to welcome everyone. Um, we've got a jam-packed 90-minute webinar just full of Bricado Color Project color information for you guys. If along the way you have a question, please feel free to um, type that in and I will answer it. And I will keep the questions open to everyone so you can um, see the answers as we're going along. We'll also take some time at the end of the webinar and we'll be able to answer questions at the end as well. If you have something that's a little bit more detailed or you don't want to miss anything, you know, take the time to stop and ask a question during the webinar. Don't worry, we will, we will do it again at the end. So I just want to welcome everybody. Thank you so much for, for your time and um, I'm going to uh, turn it over to Sam to say a few words. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. It's so wonderful to be with you all here this afternoon. I know this is going to be a great 90 minutes, and I'll keep it really short. Um, I, I, I look forward to seeing a lot of you, uh, or some of you, on Sunday in Indianapolis, and then I think Monday in Joliet, Illinois, and then uh, coming up later in the year at one of the five academies that we'll do in New York. But I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Thank you all for signing in. The last webinar earlier today was really jam-packed, and I'm sure this one would be the same. So have a, let's have a great uh, time together. If there are any questions, uh, let me know, and I'll try to do my best to answer them also. So Gary, I'll turn it back over to you. All right, thanks, Sam. Um, <clears throat> what we want to do today is we're going to be presenting information on the complete Bricado color system. And the purpose of this webinar is twofold. One is, it is a great review for people that are currently using Bricado Color Project. It's also an introduction for people who haven't ever tried Bricado Color Project. And so we're going to walk through basic information on how to use the product and how it performs. With that in mind, we're also recording the webinar. And so after the webinar is completed, you'll receive a link in the mail that will allow you to uh, view the webinar online if you'd like to or share it with your friends or with other staff members. So it really serves a multiple of purposes. But uh, just to, so everybody's on the same page, we want everyone to realize that we're um, presenting and answering questions and covering information as if we were speaking in a salon, uh, primarily to a salon that's not involved with Bricado uh, Color Project, but is relatively familiar with Sam Bricado and with the Bricado brand. So with that, we'll get going and start letting you know how Color Project works and what happens and what goes on. The first thing we want to share with you is the complete thought behind Bricado Color Project and why we believe it's a great way to color hair, what makes Color Project different than other color systems, and what makes it unique. And the real primary thing that makes Color Project unique is that it is formulated by Sam Bricado. Sam is a great product formulator, as you may have experienced with other products from our company. And he really has his eye out and his thought process is totally driven by what works in the salon, what performs in the salon, and what works for him. Um, Ricardo Color Project is built brand new from the ground up. It's not relabeled or repackaged. It's not imported from Italy or Germany or another foreign country. We use German technology. Uh, the technology behind German color is what we found is really the most uh, performance-driven driven and high-tech version of the hair color process. The products itself are actually made in the United States. So it's German technology that's made here in the US. Everything we do at Bricado is hairdresser driven. We always think about the needs of the stylist and the needs of the consumer that's coming to the salon. So with those needs in mind, we've created a product that has low ammonia odor. We'll talk about that in, in uh, the next few minutes, as well as a conditioning base that helps give you healthy, uncompromised results. We use the next generation of color technology and performance by developing a brand new color from scratch. Bricado Color Project is completely uh, predictable. The swatch book is designed to show results. So literally what you see is what you get. Uh, if you use the color straight out of the tube correctly, the results you get will match the swatch that you see before you. And our permanent color system matches our demi-permanent color system. Demi-permanent color is a huge part of the market and a huge and an excellent way to give healthy, refreshing, and many color options uh, to the guest. It's a great companion for permanent color, but there are times when permanent color is necessary. When you have those two systems match one another, it's the best of both worlds because you can move seamlessly from one to the other. And the last uh, major point of difference is that we also offer a single inventory option. Sometimes a single inventory option makes a lot of sense for a salon or for a stylist who's working independently, or the salon is very small, and the idea of carrying multiple 
versions of hair color seems like an extra cost that's unnecessary. So we have a way of streamlining things as well that we'll share with you. Uh, as I said, Bricado Color Project was built brand new from the ground up. I always smile whenever we use this icon. We are great lovers of Apple and all things Apple within our company. But the real reason for using the Apple icon is to remind everyone that it's about reinventing things that you may not even know that you needed. One of the things that made Steve Jobs one of the most exciting and accessible company visionaries is the idea that he was not preparing or creating products that customers knew they needed. He was creating products and developing things that customers didn't even know existed and wouldn't understand why they would need them. And now we live with, live with them every day. We would die without having things like iPods and iPads and those kinds of tools that we use. Uh, we didn't know we needed a music player that could carry your entire music library with you everywhere. Were we, weren't we doing okay with cassettes and CDs? But no, under the new technology, you carry all your, money, all your music with you all the time. And it's not about the quality of speakers you have in your home or apartment. It's about the earphones you've got stuck in your ear. Totally change the way we think, change the way we perform. And that's really a step further in creating new product. It's about uh, over exceeding expectations. Bricado Color Project, as we say, is formulated by Sam Bricado. It's totally driven by hairdressers. And Sam is always concerned about the health and well-being of the guest that's visiting the salon and of the stylist that's working in the salon. We believe at Bricado there are better ways of doing almost anything. And we're constantly looking at ways to uh, finding ways to make what goes on in our industry more healthy, more beneficial, easier to use, and more successful for the salon and for the stylist. Uh, many of you are aware that just like uh, many of our listeners and many of our best customers, Sam also is a salon owner. And being a salon owner gives an additional filter as he looks at products and technology to be able to say, well, am I going to do this in my salon? Why would we create a product of Bricado that Sam doesn't embrace fully with his staff and with the people at Sam Bricado Salon in New York? It doesn't make sense, and we work on making, helping things make sense for you. The technology and the idea of creating a product around German technology really has to do with the philosophy of improving upon things that already exist. We looked at a number of different German color brands. We looked at a number of different Italian color brands. We looked at French color. We looked at American color and got a complete scope of what was going on in the industry and then went back to the drawing board and said, okay, what makes the most sense for our customers? What makes the most sense for the needs that we see going on in salons? We feel like there's a perfect marriage between German technology and something that's made in America. Something made in America allows us to, to create a price point that is very acceptable and works well in the budget within the salon, but the technology of a German product is a great benchmark for the kind of performance that's expected by the very best salons. And so that's something that helps us filter and helps us understand how the product should be used and how the product should perform. Many companies choose to import or private label products. And when they do that, really what they're using is they're using a previous version of a product that was formulated. We could introduce a brand new color line and put a label on it, importing product from Italy that maybe had been created 10 years ago. So you have 10 year old technology and everybody's going around and saying, look, this is brand new. In looking at Bricado Color Project, we tested all kinds of color bases. We tested all kinds of color molecules. We tested all kinds of performance. We tested all kinds of application and mixing procedures, trying to find something that would give a new type of performance and new type of healthy hair and a new ease of use for the, for the stylist in the salon. We really believe that we've helped create a new generation of performance. It's obvious that for any color system, it's all about durable, long-lasting results. It's about hair that looks natural, hair that has a dimension. If you look at this model, there's light pieces and dark pieces and warmer pieces and cooler pieces. That's a natural result. We talk about color durability. How long is the color going to last without changing or without aging? And what happens if the guest doesn't come back to the salon after 12 weeks or 14 weeks or even six months? What's their color going to look like then? We know that to maintain the very best possible most beautiful color, we need to see the guest in the salon every four to six weeks. That's not always possible. What happens as the color ages? The goal is to create durable, long-lasting results 
that we can touch up and recreate and maintain with logical and reasonable salon visits. And we think we've been able to accomplish that. And part of that has to do with the way the dye molecules interact with the base and the way the healthy emollients and the healthy essential oils that are part of the base interact with the hair. Of course, every colorist we talk to wants hair color that is super shiny, that is very brilliant, where the shine lasts. Well, shine in the hair is an indication of healthy hair, and there's no way that you can extend, overextend the, uh, what the fiber can handle and make the hair shiny again after the fact. The best way to protect and to keep hair beautiful and shiny is to not impact it with chemicals and not be overreactive or not be overly aggressive. Maintain the shine that's already there. Do what you can to condition and take care of it. And then enhance it with brilliant, extreme color choices. It's very interesting that we have many, many people pick red. What's your red look like? How bright are your reds? How brilliant are your reds? Everyone loves red hair color. Interestingly enough, reds are not the number one selling color category. The number one selling color category is the naturals for gray coverage, but you are judged and evaluated on the brilliance of the reds and on the ability to create and maintain a long-lasting brilliant shine and brilliant tone. The low ammonia odor base is one of the most important technologies that's made a difference for us in our permanent color system. We believe at Bricado that Ammonia is the most predictable, easy to use alkalizing agent for permanent hair color. Alkal alkalinity or raising the pH between a level of nine and 10 is always necessary for permanent hair coloring to take place. You can either do that with ammonia or a number of other ammonia derivatives or ammonia-like products. The very easiest performing product to work with is ammonia. It's very predictable. It it rinses from the hair very easily, leaving no residue and or no smell. And it's very easy to buffer and to meter so that the hair is, the porosity is created very gently and very predictably. There's one big problem with ammonia and that problem is smell. The reason so many people have been marketing in the industry a, an ammonia-free hair color is because what they're trying to say is, and our hair color doesn't smell. It smells, ammonia smells old fashioned. Ammonia smells like, the, you know, like grandma. Ammonia smells harsh. There's all kinds of descriptives that we respond to when we have that ammonia fragrance. Well, what we've done with the new technology that we've worked with is we've created a way that the ammonia odor gets trapped in the cream base of the color. So you smell 80% or less ammonia fragrance as you're applying the color. It's not a fragrance mask that wears off. If you mix up a bowl of Bricado color and you don't smell ammonia immediately upon mixing, an hour later you can stir the bowl again and try and you still won't have that ammonia odor. We have worked done our best to mask and to, to stop the ammonia odor. So the low ammonia odor complex helps keep that fragrance away from the guest and away from the stylist, taking advantage of the positive things that ammonia does for us in our formula but also preventing the negatives of the fragrance and the odor within the salon gives us the best of both worlds. We use a completely moisture-rich base that provides the healthy, compromised, uncompromised hair we talked about. There are four different botanicals that are part of the base. Miro Miro seed butter is a natural emollient that helps hydration. Macadamia seed oil is a botanically derived oil that leaves the hair soft and supple. By the way, Macadamia seed oil is also the highest concentrated natural source of the amino acids that build the hair. So it's actually a, it contributes to the protein strength within the hair. Green tea seed oil is a natural antioxidant. The natural antioxidant qualities help prevent fadage and help stabilize the dye molecules. It also adds a glossy finish. And palm kernel oil helps to heal, smooth, and rejuvenate hair that is become porous and has had the cuticle expanded as is necessary during a color service. We talked about our entire system matching itself and because our permanent color matches the demi color, the swatch book is the same. This swatch book represents both our permanent color and our demi permanent color and we'll talk a little bit later about how you differentiate between the two. We have a total of 81 shades of permanent color, 
and a total of 35 shades of demi-permanent color, 35, 36 shades of demi-permanent color, which is a great variety of shades to give the results that our guests are looking for. The last thing is a single inventory option. A single inventory option allows you to work only with Mercado permanent color tubes and get a semi-permanent result or a demi-permanent result. In order to accomplish that, we're mixing the color in thirds. One part of color, one part of zero zero clear, which has a low pH, one part of demi cream activator, creates a semi-permanent color result. Semi-permanent color result would be expected to live on and in the cuticle of the hair and fade from the hair within three to four weeks. A more durable result is a demi-permanent system. A demi-permanent system can be created using one, using one part of permanent color, one part of perfectly clear intensity diluter. Now, perfectly clear has a higher pH. It has the same pH as, as the color. So it keeps the alkalinity up, causing the cuticle to soften and swell and then one part of demi-cream activator, which oxidizes the color. Because the cuticle is opening a little bit more under the demi option, the color penetrates a little more deeply, but because it does not have a peroxide activator, because the pH is kept relatively low in comparison to permanent color, it doesn't lift or lighten the hair. So it gives you a stronger deposit that would last for four, three, four to six weeks, potentially. So these are two other ways of using the permanent color in addition to using permanent color with 10, 20, 30, or 40 volume developer. So now I have three different options just out of that one tube of color. And that's a great benefit if the salon is small or if the salon is looking for other types of services. All in all, we believe the Bricado Color Project is a new way of looking at color. It's a cutting edge level of performance and a cutting edge level of results. It gives you within our system a complete toolbox of color tools. We have every possible color option that might be needed. A single inventory option to reduce, your, to reduce inventory, a permanent option for complete gray coverage, demi-permanent option for glazing and refreshing color and as a color correction tool. A high lift system designed to give additional blonding with controlled tone from a level six or lighter up to four levels of lift that will give soft blondes. Intensifiers that allow you to push the tonality warmer or cooler or redder. We have intensifiers in both the permanent system and the demi system. Powder lights is our powder lightning system that can be used on or off the scalp with 10, 20, 30, 40, or 40 volume developer. With 30 and 40 volume developer, it's used off the scalp in foils or in freehand techniques. And with 10 and 20 volume developer, it can be used on the scalp. Cream Lights is our cream lightener, and cream lightener is the tool that's designed specifically for balayage techniques. It's a very heavy cream that stays moist. It does not dry, so it continues to lift as long as necessary to give a soft, beautiful result. We're going to start out by talking about our permanent system and delving into formulation and performance so that you can understand how to work with the 82 shades of Ricardo Permanent Color. First of all, as we just spoke of a minute ago, Ricardo Color Project Permanent has a low ammonia odor system that prevents ammonia gas from escaping from the formula because the gas doesn't escape, there's no ammonia or no offensive smell. The results of permanent color are very predictable. We've formulated each tube so that the results match the swatch. I was listening to a color seminar last week and one of the things that they made very clear was that the results never match the swatch. And I wanted to like say, I beg to differ, that's not really true. It depends on how you formulated your product. We formulated Bricado Color Project from the beginning to match the swatches that we identified, and we've selected the swatches so that they match the results. This makes it easy for, easier for you as a stylist to determine which color to use successfully. Color doesn't have to be difficult for you, it just has to be beautiful for your guest. Bricado Pro Color Project Permanent completely covers gray hair. with, with extreme durability. There is not a color aging or changing process that is noticeable to the guest. The premium micro pigments are very small, penetrate deeply into the hair, and guarantee that the color lasts a long time before it leaves the hair. The moisture inch base leaves the hair in the best possible condition, looking and, looking and feeling in even better condition after the hair has been treated with permanent color than before the process started. 
We started talking previously about the low ammonia odor system and how it works to enhance and to help what happens in the color service. Ammonia smells the most offensive part of any color service. It's old fashioned. There's a perception that it's damaging or harsh. In many custom, in many systems, the ammonia fragrance is masked by strong fragrances. But as the masking fragrance leaves, the ammonia smell reappears. If you're concerned or you wonder about that with a brand you might be using, mix up a bowl of color and then set it on your station for about 20 minutes. Go grab that bowl and stir it up again. And if it's using fragrance to mask the odor, you'll instantly get a hit of ammonia smell because the fragrance will have dissipated at that point. When you're using when when you're using an old system like that, the lighter levels of color, like the high lift tints or the level nine and level ten, have a stronger ammonia smell. The lower levels have a lighter ammonia smell. The reason for that is because we we need less ammonia or less alkalinity for darker shades because lift is not necessary. On the lighter shades where lightning is necessary, the pH needs to be a little bit higher, so a little more ammonia is used, and that's where you sometimes experience a stronger smell. We found that ammonia is the most dependable alkalizer for permanent color. It's gentle in the way that it raises the pH to the necessary level. level. It rinses easily from the hair, which is a big deal. If residue were to remain behind in the hair, it would continue to soften and swell the hair. Ammonia is very stable and predictable in its hair color formulations. Formulations. Some of the alternatives that are used are products like MEA or monoethanolamine. Um, they cause scalp irritation, they give uneven lift, they create excess porosity, and they're really difficult to regulate sometimes. Most of the time, all of the brands that I know, if you look on the market of brands that are advertising no ammonia hair color, MEA is in fact what they use to create an alkaline environment. But remember, MEA is not really performing at its best in a permanent color system. So they really have to put a high dosage of MEA in the hair to create that kind of lift. And you'll find that sometimes the hair feels raspy and rough because of the excess porosity that gets created in those situations. So what we've done at Bricado is we've used a low ammonia odor base. Our base provides all the benefits of ammonia, but the odor is trapped in the cream. The odor is decreased by 80% or more. In fact, I've gotten to a point where I don't smell it at all. I don't even notice there's ammonia there. And I one time a couple of weeks ago grabbed a tube of color that was not a Bricado tube because I needed a specific formula. And the guest instantly commented about the smell. She'd had Bricado on her hair for two years and instantly she knew that she was something else was being used on her hair and it was the smell. Within the Bricado Color Project system, we use a lookbook or a binder swatch book to help you identify the shades necessary. It's designed for your guests to look at so that they can see it and they can touch. The very first tab of swatches are the natural series, and you can pull that, that set of swatches out of the book very easily as a reference when finding the natural level. Of course, you could you re remove any of the cards from the book and hold them up next to the hair or next to the skin if you're looking to find a tonality that makes the most sense for that specific guest. If you look also, I'm not sure if there's a slide on this, so we'll go back here. If you look also right on the spine of the book where my pointer is, there's a little icon that says PD. That means that that particular formula is available as a permanent and a demi-permanent shade. There's also a sticker below that that says D. That means that shade is available as a demi-only. If you look down the natural series, you can see the icons that are next to the number. And those icons are spread throughout the book so that you know if that particular shade is available as both a permanent color and a demi-permanent color, or if that shade is available only as a demi-color. Any place you don't see an icon or you don't see that little round gray sticker, that means that that shade is only available as permanent color. So that'll help you identify and be able to guide your way through the swatch book as you try to determine your formulas. We've created a unique Bricado color wheel to help you understand the contents of the tube of color. Many companies, our swatch book's designed to show results. So the results are shown on hair that has pigment that's going to lift and add warmth to the formula. Many companies put their swatches on white hair so you can see the exact contents of the tube. In order to help you make that understanding, we've created a unique color wheel that starts with zero in the center on a brown 
on a brown dot, and then if you look up to the top, has yellow, orange, red, violet, blue, and green around the outside edge. This teaches a lot of things. One is if you combine all of those six shades together to the center, they become brown. It points out the complementary pairs of yellow and violet, blue and orange, and red and green. But the other thing that it does is if you look at all of the remaining dots inside of the circle, it gives you an idea of how close to the center or how close to brown each shade is and how vibrant each shade is. So a color base of four of slash four three up here right above zero four four is a copper gold. It's a very saturated, very intense, very bright color because it's toward the outside of the color wheel. If you move directly towards the center, you see seven three, which is a beige gold or a brownish gold. That's much more neutralized. Three six is a little less neutralized than seven three. Stroke three is closer to the outside, so it's more colorful. This will help you understand where the numbers live. It will also help you understand how saturated or brilliant each of the shades are, so you have a feeling for how colorful that particular tone is and how bright that tone might be. Of course, you can work across the color wheel and mix 7-1 with 7-3 and make the whole thing closer to the center or make it browner. Mix 7-7 seven, seven with 3-6 and make it browner. Mix 3 with 7 and make it browner. That's what all of those things are designed to help you understand and help us teach. The shades close to the center portion contain more brown or blonde and are pre-blended. The shades close to the outside are more pure-toned and more bright. They contain less brown. The shades are placed in the color wheel so you help illustrator you can see the tonal combination and the tonal contribution so that you get a best idea of how the colors look. We use a combination of a number number system and a number letter system when identifying Bricado color. Many international companies use number number and you have to learn what those numbers mean. Many American companies use number letter and you have to learn what the letters mean. Some foreign countries use letters and foreign languages and you have to figure those out. We don't really care which system you use. Our instinct for permanent color is to usually use a number number system. So here's what those numbers mean. 836, the first number before the slash, represents the level of the color, how dark or light. 8 is lighter than 7, 7 is lighter than 5, if you look at the three swatches that are represented. The numbers after the slash represent the tone of that shade. If there are two numbers after the slash, the first one is dominant and the second one is contributing. So 836 is a level 8 gold brown or gold beige. 775 is a level 7 brown red or 7BR. 546 is a level 5 copper violet or a 5CV. It's important to know that the primary tone comes from the first number, the secondary tone comes from the second number. If you find, like in the 3-6, that the two numbers are opposite one another on the color wheel, then we're going to expect this shade to be more brown or more controlled. If you find in the 4-6, like 5-4-6, the colors are, while they're opposite from the color wheel, they're very tonal and vibrant colors it's going to create a very bright result. So understanding the placement, how close to the center, as well as what color they are, will help you get an exact, a more exact understanding of what you can expect from that shade. <clears throat> to mix permanent color, we mix one part of permanent color with one part of rich cream developer. The volume of the developer, 10, 20, 30, and 40, is determined by how much lift we require or how much lightning is necessary. For the most accurate measuring, we suggest using a scale, but you can also measure by displacement, and I want to explain to you how you do that. First of all, whenever you use a rich cream developer, this just becomes second nature. Pick up the bottle and just shake it back and forth one time. It breaks up the cream a little and makes it dispense out of the pop top bottle a little bit easier. So if I were going to measure by displacement, I would put my developer into the beaker first. If I want to mix three ounces of finished color, then I would put one and a half ounces of developer into my beaker. Then take my color and put the color on top of 
the developer until the developer rises to a level of three ounces. At that point, I've got one part of color and one part of developer. I could also measure by weight. Many of us use gram scales and measure by weight, putting 20 grams of color in the bowl with 20 grams of developer in the bowl. That's another way of assuring that you have equal parts. Permanent color is designed for a brush and bowl application, but you'll notice that the formula itself is light enough that if you chose to apply with a bottle, it would be possible. We just tend to use brush and bowl. It mixes up very quickly and very easily with a brush and is very easily applied. 10 volume developer is designed for one level of lift to keep things at the same level or go darker. 20 volume developer will give one to two levels of lift. We identify 20 volume developer as being the first choice for gray coverage because it does, the 20 volume developer will completely oxidize all of the color molecules in the tube, giving you the most color deposit possible. 30 volume developer will give you two to three levels of lift and 40 volume developer will give you three to four levels of lift. Most of the time, 40 volume developer is used only with high lift tints, but sometimes we use 30 or 40 volume developer with regular color as well. This chart will show you the processing and timing guide for each of the different levels of developer. It also shows you what kind of results can be expected from each level of developer. Typically, we will say we process Bricado Color Project Permanent for 30 minutes. If you're working with 10 volume developer, for toning or to go darker, sometimes 25 minutes is sufficient. And if you're working with high lift tints to go as light as possible, you can leave those on for up to 50 minutes. Our processing time is, as we said, the processing time in the middle column can be accelerated by applying gentle heat. The basic rule is that you can decrease the processing time by one third by processing with heat under a lamp or a steamer, um, under, a, uh, under a warm dryer, not a hot dryer if you were to use a hooded dryer. Um, and if you're going to use a dryer, you do need to place a processing cap on the hair because it must remain moist. But usually under lamps or under a steamer, under a roller ball, the, the uh, 10 volume developer would process for 60 minutes, 20 and 30. 40 volume developer for permanent color would process for 20 minutes and high lift would process for 30 minutes. So it's going to decrease the processing time just by one third. For gray coverage, we adjust the formulation to allow for the missing pigment in the gray hair. Gray hair is unpigmented hair. It has part of the pigment or all of the pigment that's naturally created missing. Because there's no pigment in the hair, it's not contributing any warmth to the formula. It's also not contributing any depth to the formula. So if I were to put a very strong red on hair that was unpigmented with no gray, the part of the hair, if it was at 50%, the part of the hair that was pigmented would lighten a little bit and contribute some solid red background color or remaining color to my formula. The hair that was not pigmented would contribute nothing to my formula. So I would see two different versions. I would see a natural rich red on the pigmented hair, and I would see a bright fuchsia or a bright pink on the white hair. Now, regardless of whether that's the result you wanted, you didn't have gray coverage. In order for gray coverage to take place, you must be able to look at the finished hair strands and not be able to tell the difference between a strand that started out gray and a strand that started out with pigment. To assure that that happens, we've got an easy formula. If you have less than 25% gray, then select the target color of permanent color that you'd like to use and mix it with developer and apply it as you should. If you have 25 to 75% gray, then you need to be mixing your target permanent color with an equal amount of natural color. So an equal amount of natural series. One ounce of natural series with one ounce of 644, which is a bright copper red, and two ounces of developer is appropriate. If you have 75 to 100% gray, then you would mix uh, a half an ounce of your permanent color target formula with one and a half ounces of natural um, color to brown out that bowl so that you again have a natural result. And you would mix that with two ounces of developer. And the bottom part of this window is allows you to create a double pigmented formula. One of the most common things in the industry right now is a double pigmented natural series for gray coverage. 
Well, at Bricado, we create a double pigmented any shade you want, if you will. Um, for gray coverage, if you need a double pigmented natural series, then we would use two ounces of the target natural level with one ounce of 30 volume developer. Notice that the ratio changed. We're using twice as much developer as we are, excuse me, twice as much color as we are developer. Does two things. It puts more pigment in the bowl. It also raises the pH of the bowl. It raises the alkalinity of the formula. So it penetrates into the gray a little bit more. The reason for using 30, 30 volume developer is so that the stronger developer is available to completely oxidize that extra color. If we mix it with one ounce of 20 volume developer with two ounces of natural series, the result would be darker than the desired level. If we mixed it with um, 30 volume, it matches the desired level. If we mixed it with 40 volume, the result would be lighter than the desired level. So our goal is always to give you what you put in the bowl. If you put level six natural in the bowl, we believe that should be your result. That's what this gives you with one ounce of 30 volume developer. I might also go off here into another area and say we could create a double pigmented fashion shade if you wanted to make a very solid fashion result of a bright red shade. Um, six, 646 would be really pretty this way. It's not a natural finish with dimension. It makes the result very opaque, makes it very solid and very um, photo friendly if you're looking for a real saturated result. But you can mix two ounces of any shade with one ounce of 30 volume developer and create that kind of depth and opacity, opaque, uh, opacity or opaque results that completely cover the hair with the new tone, not giving any dimension or highlight as a result. A couple of other ways to work with gray hair and gray coverage, extend the processing time to 45 minutes. Go a little bit longer and let the color really work. For the most natural gray results as well as successful gray coverage, stay within two levels of the natural level. This is especially if you're expecting gray coverage with 20 volume developer. Sometimes people come in with 50, a natural level five and they wanna use a, nat, use a level eight color on their guest with 20 volume developer. Well, what's gonna happen if I use 20 volume developer on a natural level eight? It's going to lighten the, eight, the five, or excuse me, on a natural level five. It's going to lighten the five to a six or a seven, and then it's going to oxidize level eight color in the hair. The gray will not be covered. In order to cover gray in that situation, I must use a stronger developer because I have to lift the pigment out of the natural hair and get to a place where the color formulation I put in my bowl will cover the hair completely. So for the best gray coverage, we recommend staying within two levels of the natural. Also use a brush application working across the hair. Rather than going down the strand, take the bristles of your brush and go side to side. It physically roughs up the cuticle just a little bit and helps with penetration. Make sure that plenty of color is applied and the hair is thoroughly saturated. The other thing to note is that sometimes multi-pigment bases make natural series unnecessary. Three, six is very close to brown. Seven, seven, five, four, seven, and five, seven are all very close to the center of the color wheel. Here's a trick that you can look at. Using seven, five, this is the easiest one. If you have a guest who wants a deep, rich red result, but she has 70 or 80% gray, if you use a seven, five series without mixing additional brown, you'll get a deep rich red result because the seven is already the natural. It's like halfway red. If I used 505, I would have a very artificial red because the gray hadn't been compensated for. But if I use 675 or 575, then there is a brown component already in the bowl that you can add the red to. And you have a natural balancing it doesn't match the 7.5 swatch because of the gray, but it will be close to matching the 5 swatch because of the brown. So that's, that's a way to use halfway red and create rich natural gray results. For coarse textured gray, as we said a minute ago, resistant gray, use a double pigmented formula, two parts of the color, of color with one part 30 volume in order to have, raise the alkalinity of the bowl and allow better, more thorough penetration. The Bricado shades are all divided into different tones that refer to the overall highlight or hue of the color. We use a letter and a number system that I described before to describe the tonal series. 
The letters and the numbers after the slash identify the tone. So if you look at this chart, this chart is also on our paper chart. It's also in our swatch book. It goes through each of the different categories and tells you what tonality we would, we would call it. For example, uh, G is gold. The number is three. The letter is G. And we would describe it as being gold. 3-6 GB is golden beige. 7-1 BA is brown ash. 7 B or B is brown, and you can go through the entire system and identify the names that go with the numbers. Now this this gives a this this chart gives it also a great result of why we like the number system better than the letter system, especially when you get a lot of colors going on. G B says golden beige, but if I look below, B G is brown gold. What's with that? Well, what's with that is at a lighter level, I'm adding beige. Six is, six is violet based. And so a violet plus a gold equals a neutral beige. So golden beige is what we're calling the color. There aren't enough letters in the alphabet to delineate clearly the differences. Seven is a violet based brown. Seven with gold, seven three is a brown gold. Seven is brown. Seven seven is brown brown. But the brown reappears Let's see, where is it? On 9VB, the B isn't brown anymore, the B is blue. So it's important to keep track of both the letter and the number to be as clear as possible. And keep an eye on the color wheel, that really will help you the most. The High Lift Blonde series is also part of our permanent color system. There are seven shades of High Lift Blonde. They're all designed to, to provide three to four levels of lift. I, one of the things I've called these is I call them over-the-top blondes, which an over-the-top blonde means I, my desired result needs to be lighter than a level 10 or a level 10 at the darkest. So with three to four levels of lift, if I, in order to get over the top of a level 10, they're designed to be applied to a level six or seven at the very lightest. If you're having problems with your high lift blondes going to being too warm, then start applying to a seven instead of to a six. Part of it's in the eye of the user and the eye of the beholder. High lift blondes are designed to mix with two parts of 30 or 40 volume developer. They process for 45 to 60 minutes. And the ends of the high lift blonde can be color balanced or toned and adjusted with color project demi color. Please don't pull high lift blonde through the end of the hair because some of the shades like 11V, 11.6 and um, 11.1 have very strong controlling properties. 11.2 as well has a strong um, greenish base to it. So if it's going on hair that's already too light, you'll find that you're going to want to use demi-color to tone that rather than use a high lift tint because they have a strong color component. Now, if you look at these from right to left, 11.3, 11.7, 11.0, 11.6, 11.9, 11.1, 11.2, these are from the least amount of control to the most amount of control. 11.2 will give you the most control. 11.3 will give you the least amount of control. And that will help you choose which shade works best for you in what situation. If I'm applying a high lift tint to someone whose hair is already a level um, 9 or a level 10 and they're looking for highlights, I'm going to use 11.3 or 11.7. On the other hand, if I'm working at somebody who's a level six or a level seven and they have a lot of dark pigment in their hair, I'm going to use 11.2 or 11.1. The results of high lift blonde are almost always the same or very similar, a very soft golden blonde or beige blonde. But the tonality included in the system is designed to give you different starting points to achieve that result. We also have five intensifiers that are part of the Ricardo Color Project system in permanent. There's blue intensifier, gold intensifier, copper intensifier, red intensifier, and violet intensifier. You'll notice that blue, gold, copper, and red all have the permanent, demi-permanent symbol. Violet intensifier doesn't have a symbol. Violet intensifier is only available in permanent color. The other four are available in permanent or demi-permanent color. The intensifiers contain pure tone. It is very bright, pure tone. Now, when we were working on formulation and creating color project, one of the questions that I asked the, the chemist was, why is it you can only use, you know, five cc's or just a teeny tiny bit of intensifier? And why do they always tell you you can't use intensifier by itself? 
could you create intensifiers that could be used by themselves? And they said, well, sure, it just depends on how you formulate it. So what we've done is we've created intensifiers while they're designed to be mixed with permanent color, they can also be used individually by themselves. Because they are actual hair color that's designed to be mixed with developer, remember when you mix it with your color formula, you can use up to 50% intensifier in a color formula without losing the character of the color you were starting with. You're just adding more gold to your formula or adding more copper to your formula. Um, it's still going to appear similar to the swatch that you selected. Once you go over 50%, it starts to take complete control. Likewise, we can also use the intensifiers all by themselves. You can mix them with developer, use them by themselves on blonde hair or on pre-lightened hair. Now, the reason we say blonde or pre-lightened hair is because our assumption is if you're going to pick red intensifier, you want the hair to be screaming red. And if you apply screaming red to somebody that's a natural level four, they're not going to be screaming red. They're going to be very red brown. If you want it to be screaming red, then you need to apply it to someone who's lighter than a level six, and then that tonality will start to show. Copper will show brightly lighter than a level seven. Gold will show brightly lighter than a level eight. Blue will show brightly lighter than a level four. So keep those in mind. Violet shows brightly lighter than about a level five, if you're really trying to show that as your finished result. The single inventory option we talked about earlier to create a gentle semi-permanent, mix one part of permanent color with one part of clear or and one part of demi-activating cream. Clear has a pH of 4.5. The permanent color has a pH between eight and nine. So when one third of the formula is 4.5 and the activating cream has an acid pH as well, it's going to push the pH of the finished formula down quite a bit. So it's really just over seven. It will penetrate into the hair, but it's not very aggressive at doing so. The durable demi option is a little bit different because the durable demi option helps you keep the alkalinity up or the pH up. That makes it last longer. One part of permanent color with one part of perfectly clear. Now, perfectly clear has a pH of, of about nine. So if I'm mixing those two together, I'm now maintaining the pH and the acidity of the activating cream doesn't drop the pH as low, so it penetrates deeper and a little bit further or stronger into the hair. The formulation guidelines for working with Percato Permanent Color um, consist of four very easy steps. The first thing is to determine the natural level. I spoke earlier about taking the natural level swatches right out of the binder and holding them in the hair. Now, remember, the natural level is not, there is not an international board or some company that decides that this is what a natural level six is, or this is what a natural level 10 is. It's designed, by, des, designed and decided by each individual manufacturer. So if you're going to use Bricado Color Project, use our natural level swatches to determine where you are. Um, interestingly about a natural level, sometimes people say, well, my hair's not that dark. Well, if you change the natural level in your formulation with, to something other than what's actually growing out of their head, the results are not going to match what you expected. A natural level just is. The guest brings it from home. In many cases, it's based on the fact that they have Italian grandparents, so their natural level is darker. Or they have Scandinavian grandparents, so their natural level is much lighter. Those things are a result of genetics, not really a, a result of fashion or, or even desire. The next step is to analyze the percentage of gray hair. Now, the easiest way to analyze gray hair is to just look at 10 hair strands or five hair strands by themselves. If you have 10 hair strands and five of them are white and five of them are brown, then that client's 50% gray. If three of them are white and, and seven of them are brown, then they're 30% gray. If one of them is white, or then they're, yeah, if one of them is white and, they're, and nine of them are brown, then they're 10% gray. That will give you an idea. Now, we're not asking you to define gray any more than 25% gray, 50% gray, 75% gray. So it doesn't have to be that exact. But realize I'm looking at the difference between hair that still has its natural pigment and hair that does not have its natural pigment. The next step is to determine the desired result. What is it that would that client like? Do they want to go lighter? Do they want to go darker? Do they want to go warmer? Do they want to go cooler? The easiest way to do that, I've found, is to show them the swatch book. Sometimes they'll be very attracted to shades that they don't like, and they'll say, oh, look at that. That's just awful. Why would anyone color their hair that color? 
you know, you can make a courteous response and say, well, it's one of our, you know, there are some people who really like to have dark red, you know, bright red hair, but let's look over here at these swatches that are gold and brown because that's what you seem to like and have them narrow, narrow down their, their uh, responses. You may take cards out of the binder and just show them two or three cards rather than the, the entire book if it's difficult for them to make a decision. But the first thing you're going to determine is, do they want to be lighter or darker than they naturally are? The next thing you'll determine is, do they want to be warmer or cooler than they naturally are? The last step is, then choose the most gentle formula that will give you the desired result. If they have brown hair, they have no gray, and they want to have just a little bit of copper, that's something I could do with demi color. If they have 50% gray hair and they want that same result, it would be necessary for me to use permanent color to cover that gray. If they have a level five natural level and they want to be much lighter, then I know I need a permanent formula to do that. If they want to be lighter than three levels or four levels, then I'm going to have to talk to them about bleaching or about adding highlights in order to get to that desired result. But feel free to negotiate and work through those options with your guest. The hardest thing about formulation is people say hair color is hard. Well, let's go back and look. The natural level came in on the client's head. Her percentage of gray is a result of her personal level of stress and or her age. The desired color result, I very rarely met a client who didn't have a strong feeling about warm or cool or a strong feeling about light or dark. They pretty much know what they're looking to achieve. And the only thing decision you have to make is, should I do it with high lift tint? Should I do it with permanent color? Should I do it with demi-permanent color? Should I do it with lightener? Should, do I need to lift their hair? Can I just deposit? What are the choices? And the use of the product is up to you. But the goal usually comes right out of the guest's mouth, and she shares it with them. So keep those tips in mind and those things in mind while we talk about permanent color or demi-permanent color for the next few minutes because they connect and they add on. Demi-permanent color also has micro pigments that guarantee long-lasting results. It's, our demi-permanent color is ammonia-free. We use aminomethylpropanol, which is an anti-irritating, very gentle alkalizer. It's so gentle that even additional quantities of, of AMP won't allow lift to take place. So we, are, we say right on the bottle that Bricado Color Project Demi has zero lift. It has zero lift because our alkalizer isn't strong enough to alkalize the hair enough to get it to lift or to lighten. Demi-permanent color blends gray. It's non-progressive, which means it doesn't go darker over time. If you leave it on the hair longer, it doesn't go darker. It just ends where it ends. It's designed to prevent damage and leave the hair detangled and smooth. We actually use the same um, um, essential oils and nourishing agents that are in permanent color, so they connect. And then, of course, the demi-color matches the permanent color. Our demi-permanent lookbook shows 27 different shades of demi-color, as well as four intensifiers. And then there are five additional sheer shades that are not represented in the book. You'll notice in the book, we've kind of blended levels and tonalities into families, naturals and golds, coppers and reds, blue violets and browns, so that you can see what direction to go to, especially when you're color refreshing using demi-color and someone that's using permanent color it's more about the family of tonality you're working with than it is about the actual level and tonality. That's probably true with de any demi application because remember when we're applying demi color, there's no lifting action, so I'm just putting color on top of the color of hair that is present. Whether it's a natural shade or an artificial shade, I'm just adding the color to what I have. Now, there's a lot of different ways to use demi color. The first one is to stay the same level or go darker. In order to stay the same level, often if my guest is a level six, I might apply a level a level seven demi-color. If I apply a six, color on top of color, the appearance is deeper and darker. It's not really much darker, but because it covers up the highlights and the natural highlights, it looks darker and looks heavier. So if you don't want to go any darker, then use a lighter formula of demi-color. The demi-color won't lighten their hair, but it will change the color of the highlights in their hair to be a little bit deeper and a little bit richer. Demi-color is a great choice for first-time or color-shy guests. Someone afraid of coloring their hair, who's never colored their hair before, or isn't sure if they would like having their hair colored, demi-permanent's a great option because you're not locking them into any um, future of continued services and continued, continued um, color 
responsibility. They're not going to get regrowth that's highly visible unless you pick the most extreme vibrant shades. Their, their color is going to quietly leave their hair. In many cases, the guests won't even have family or friends notice that they've colored their hair. They'll just make comments like, wow, have you been on vacation? You look really healthy. Have you been working out? Gee, maybe you lost weight. You just look so good because you help their hair look richer and shinier and more beautiful. Another way to use demi color is to enhance the natural color or the natural tone. That's kind of like adding the richness we talked about to begin with, but this is someone who's consciously coloring their hair. They know they look best with warm tones in their hair color. This model here has very warm lipstick and warm skin tones, so a warm brown is going to be more natural or more beneficial for her. So we can go in with a demi-color formula that contains gold or a demi-formula that contains red and gold in, or, or, excuse me, gold and brown in order to enrich and add richness to her tone and add richness to her color. Again, if I work with a level that is lighter than her natural, I'm going to adjust the tonality of highlights she might have, whether they're natural or artificial highlights I've added. If I work with a color that's darker than her natural tone, I can add depth and richness, but also enhance that, enhance that result by creating a warmer or richer brown. A color glaze is the option of using demi-color immediately after or as a support service between permanent color services. A color glaze is usually formulated a couple of levels lighter than the natural or the actual result I see because the glaze is designed to brighten or cause the tonality to pop. I use a bright, bright tone but I use that bright tone a little bit lighter on top of my new permanent color client. Often the glaze happens right at the shampoo bowl. Glazes can be used a couple of different reasons. One of the reasons is because they give you more durability by adding more uh, brilliance of tone. In some cases, a glaze can be used for instant color correction. If your result wasn't bright enough, I can add brightness. If your result was too bright, I could formulate to tone it down a little bit or take the edge off of it if you were afraid that it might be going a little bit too far for that guest. So that's another way to use a glaze. One of the things that we've talked about glazes as a tool is glazes can be a ticket builder or a way of adding to a service. It's an add-on service. In addition to coloring your hair, I'm adding more shine and enhancing the tonality and giving you additional options and additional service. And every additional service service comes with a little step up in price. So you can add 25 or 30 or $40 more to your color basic color service by putting a glaze on over the top of it. You can do the same glaze in between color services. So even if she comes back to the salon for a haircut or a bang trim two weeks after her color, she doesn't necessarily need a touch up, but you can do a glaze on the entire thing to refresh it and to punch it back up. So you have the opportunity of selling an additional color service in between your existing services. Demi-color is the perfect choice for toning. Anytime the hair has been lightened in highlights, in balayage techniques, in ombre techniques, or even bleaching the entire head, you may want to adjust the result of that lightener. Now you can adjust that result with permanent color, but demi-color is gentler to the hair. I don't need the alkalinity, I don't need the lifting ability that's inherent in permanent color, I just need to change the tone of what I have. So a violet-based demi-color or a gold-based demi-color can very lightly push the tonality around, giving you an additional direction or additional vibrance and shine. Demi-color is a man's best friend. Any man that wants to color their hair, especially somebody that's worried about people knowing or they're worried about not being macho, you can color their hair slowly, start out with a very subtle result, and then every time they get a haircut, Make it a little deeper and a little richer and a little deeper and a little richer. And eventually, you can have their gray completely covered up. On somebody that's getting their hair cut every three or four weeks, they get a demi color every single time. You can have their gray completely changed. No one will ever know they even colored their hair. Part of the reason is because you're going to formulate one level lighter than their actual color so that they get highlights where their gray previously existed. And then you can slowly tone those highlights down if they want to go towards full coverage. The other thing is because there's no lifting or lightening action in demi-color, you'll be able to give them a color result that does not fade brassy or get warm. The greatest fear any man has who colors his hair is that they'll go out golfing or hang out with the buddies or go to the beach or sit by the pool with their girlfriend and the sun will lighten their hair color and the brassiness will start to come through because the color starts to fade. Especially men with a level five or darker, there's no way on earth that, they're, that they want to go brassy. They'd rather be gray than brassy. So demi-color, because it does not lift, 
is the perfect tool, the perfect friend for them. Demi colors used for adding low lights to hair. If someone is is highlighting their hair, they've been getting a balayage technique or a weave, or they've had highlights. You can instantly return or change the tonality of their of their current highlights just by creating a demi formula that's a little bit darker than the formula currently on their hair. If they've been lightening their hair and you want to change the shape and change the dimension, this particular model had highlights all over and was turned into a balayage result just by adding sliced low lights to the top of the hair. That covers up the highlights that previously existed. The reason demi color works great for low lighting is because it does not hang onto the hair as tenaciously as permanent color will. That, that way you get no regrowth line. You can add slices of demi color close to their natural level. And as their natural level comes in, everything will blend together. And it'll be much less maintenance and much less visual awareness that there's something going on with their hair color. So it's a great way to add, to add low lights to somebody that's highlighted. Demi color, where gray is concerned, is an excellent choice for blending gray hair. You can apply demi color of a level lighter than their actual gray and just do a full head application and it will start to tone down the gray and turn the gray. If the gray is naturally distributed through the hair, you can take gray and make the gray appear to be blonde highlights very easily using demi color. Also, it's not changing the base color or the natural color in the hair. If you use a darker shade of demi color, it will also blend the gray. Even at a level two or three, it can cover up the gray but the gray will start to show within three or four shampoos. Somebody who's a natural level two and has 50% gray wants it covered up permanently. That's what permanent color is for. They don't want the gray blended. When we talk about gray blending, we kind of erase it and make the gray go away, make the gray less noticeable. And that type of service is really works the best on a level seven or lighter because the difference is in creating blonde highlights that add a very varying dimension to that result, and it's just by doing a whole head application. Color balancing is a technique of using demi and permanent color on the same head. Especially with vibrant colors like Brittany's red hair here, if you touch up her regrowth, her ends are going to age and start to show that it's been a while. The instinct is to pull color, permanent color through the ends of the hair. Well, what permanent color does is it makes the hair more porous, makes the hair more susceptible to fade, and makes it so that it doesn't hang on to color as well. If I use permanent color on the new growth, I expose the new growth of the hair to my ammoniated formula one time. And then ever after, I refresh the ends, if needed, with demi-permanent color. They're never experiencing ammonia and that level of alkalinity again. They remain shiny, they remain healthy, the hair looks better long term. Now our colors are designed to be compatible, so the technique is very simple. Apply the permanent color formula at the new growth, then apply the demi-permanent color formula through the ends immediately after the first application. Once you finish the demi-permanent application, set a timer for 20 minutes, take them to the shampoo bowl and add some water and work the entire process together. The colors can interblend and then rinse it thoroughly from the hair. This will also require you to reformulate for a the ends of the hair different from the new growth of the hair. It's important that the ends of the hair be lighter and brighter than the new growth. So when I'm coloring that new growth, I might use natural series in my formula. When I'm working on the ends, I might I would use a level lighter with no natural series in my formula to maintain the natural looking result. We also use demi color as a tool for color correction. One of the cornerstones of color correction is repigmatizing the hair or putting the red and the warmth back into hair that has been bleached or highlighted or had the majority of color removed. The way to do that is to use demi color mixed with equal parts of water. So here's my example. If my client came to me, we'll go back to this client that we have sitting here. She's She looks like she's colored at about a level um, eight on the top, maybe level eight highlights with some seven underneath. And we're gonna say that she wants to be a four. So in order to make her hair a level four, I need to put red back. If I look at the chart, she wants to be a level four medium brown. I need to put red pigment back into the hair. The way I do that is with 6-5 or 6-R demi color. I take one ounce of demi color and one ounce of water, mix that up in my bottle, and apply that throughout her entire head. 
Now what happens is the hair that is highlighted and bleached and porous accepts more of the repigmenting, repigmentizing formula than the hair that has pigment and is more healthy. That's perfect because the lighter hair needs more red than the darker hair. I wipe it thoroughly. I let that be applied thoroughly throughout the hair and then take a paper towel and remove as much of it as I possibly can. Wipe out as much of that color. It'll be absorbed into the hair that's porous and light. It will sit on the surface of the hair and get wiped off of hair that is, that is pigmented and doesn't need to be warmed up. Then I go back in with my level four formula. I'm gonna choose four zero, level four natural. And I mix that with 20 volume developer and apply that just like I normally would. It processes as normal. And then I would remove it from the hair and I would have a beautiful, even level four throughout the entire head. Now, what would have happened if I'd applied level four directly to her hair without repigmatizing? It would be ashy or khaki or have greenish shades or tones to it because there was no red put back into the hair. It would look very unnatural. But if I repigmatize the hair and put the red back in, the result is very natural and very simple. The thing that I love about this system is that if you if you have just six different shades, one, two, three, four, five different shades of demi-color in your dispensary, you can do a color correction going darker on bleached or tinted hair for any level going anywhere, and you have the right formula for adding the warmth and the red back to their hair. Demi-permanent color is mixed with equal parts of liquid activator. There are two choices of, of uh, diluters, and they're used for specific reasons. When you're mixing demi-color, you always use perfectly clear intensity diluter. It's used, demi-color can be used full strength, what two ounces of color mixed with two ounces of activator. You can begin to dilute it if you choose. A, half an, a maximum dilution would be an half an ounce of color with one and a half ounces of perfectly clear intensity diluter with two ounces of activator. Moderate dilution would be 50-50, and a minimum dilution would be one and a half ounces of color with a half an ounce of clear shine. What are you doing by diluting? You're keeping the exact tonality described by the bottle. For example, the little bottle in this picture is 655 or 6RR or 6 Red Red. I really like 6 Red Red, but it's too dark. I mix it with intense clear intensity diluter, and I have the same tonality, just lighter. Now, I probably wouldn't go much high, I wouldn't go higher than a maximum dilution because it's going to become very artificial if I have that kind of a tonality at a level nine or 10. Mixing uh, a maximum dilution of a half an ounce of color with one and a half ounces of clear shine moves things up about a level to a level and a half. So I would expect maximum dilution to take a level six up to a seven or a seven and a half somewhere close to an eight. Moderate dilution would take it up one level. Minimum, minimum dilution would take it to the light side of that level. If levels, if you want just a little bit lighter, then I'd mix in um, a minimum amount of diluter. But it gives you a lot more options in color selection to say I can take any of those 27 shades and the intensifiers and make them all a little bit lighter than they are. Likewise, you can also mix color with color. You can mix a uh, 655 with 60 and make it browner or add six add 73 and make it golder so you can change the tonality as well um, by mixing shades with one another so perfectly clear intensity diluter is designed to be mixed with demi color to lighten and dilute your result the exact contents of this bottle are demi color with no pigment it's clear, it has no pigment, but it does contain amino methylpropanol, so it has a high alkalinity, an alkalinity of about nine. It does maintain the thickness and the viscosity of the solution, so that's an option of dil for diluting any of the demi shades. We also have a product called Zero Zero Clear. Zero Zero Clear is a glaze or a color sealer and is used as a glaze or color sealer when you don't want um, pigment. If I'm going to put a color sealer or a glaze on just for the shine factor, there's no reason that I need to raise the pH to nine. There's no reason that I need to penetrate into the cuticle. I just want to add shine and brightness. So that's what zero zero clear is for. 
you can use it also for neutralizing curlin erupted services. Our curlin erupted gel raises the pH of the of the hair, and zero zero clear mixed with activating liquid will help decrease that um, that alkalinity and help neutralize the hair, similar to the way you would neutralize a perm. Zero zero clear contains no amino methylpropanol. It has a pH of four point five. It's a totally different formula than the rest of demi color. It can be used with or without activating liquid. Activating liquid might give you brightened or luminized results because of, of the um, gentle peroxide that is part of the developer. You can also use it by itself. You can also mix it with Active's restorative hair infusion to shine and to create intensity and shine. Use it by itself as a glaze. Uh, one of the products on the market for years, years ago was clear cellophane from Sebastian. This is that type of a product that just seals and shines and glazes and adds and adds gloss to the hair. It's a designed to be a back bar or a service product in the salon. But we don't mix zero zero clear with demi color. If you mix zero zero clear with demi color, the alkalinity drops, the product itself doesn't thicken or become gel like for easy application, and you don't get as the kind of durability that you can when you when you dilute with intensity diluter. In addition to the shades, the 27 base shades of Demi Color, we also have five super sheer shades. These are called Demi Shears. The Demi Shears have 50% less intensity. They're perfect for toning and glossing. They're designed to address glosses and highlights and glazing within the salon. They're perfect for anyone that's using bleach highlights, anybody that's bleaching the hair. They're very pastel pale shades. Uh, S to identify them, we have the, the letter S in front of the names, SNB, S9, or S9NB, S9GB, S10G, S10N, S10GC. NB is a, is a natural brown or a, or a neutral brown. GB is a golden beige. G is gold. N is natural or neutral. And GC is a gold copper. So within that range, you can go almost any direction at a very, very pale, very, very translucent tonality. We also have four intensifiers within the DEMI system. Gold, copper, red, and blue. We talked about the permanent intensifiers. And again, I'd remind you, DEMI intensifiers are for DEMI formulas. Permanent intensifiers are for permanent formulas. We mix the intensifiers with DEMI color to intensify or to subdue the result. They're very bright and pure toned. They can be used by themselves with activator alone on blonde or pre-lightened hair. They can also be mixed with any other uh, color to enhance the tonality. Now, one of the things that I found really fun to do is if you're using a red intensifier and permanent color mixed with developer to create the brightest red you can, then the perfect glaze for that client is 055 red intensifier at, in demi color and then go one step further and do a 055 color refresher for them to take home with them. So you're building that bright red into their hair over and over and over. If you're blending gray with demi color, we use the same conversion formula that we do with permanent color. Up to 25% gray, just use the color straight out of the bottle, mixed with equal parts of activator. 25 to 75% gray, work on a 50-50 ratio. 50% of the target color, 50% natural series to make sure there's a balance to give you a natural result on the white hair. And if they've got 75% gray or more, then one third of bricado color and two thirds of natural series. So a half an ounce of color with an ounce and a half of natural series to help you have a browned out neutralized formula that will give you natural, again, natural results on the, on the unpigmented hair. Demi color is processed uh, typically at room temperature for 20 to 30 minutes. If you have resistant hair or you want a more vibrant result, then you can process it with a war under a warm dryer. Um, a warm dryer will aid in the penetration, so it penetrates more deeply into the hair. It does not change the tone or make the tone any, any darker or, or even make it any more resistant. It fades just as well. But if the hair is super glassy and resistant, then we'd apply heat. Process with warm heat for 15 minutes and let it then let the hair cool for 5 to 15 minutes. It's, a, it's important that the hair cools before you rinse it. If the hair is warm and you rinse it, you'll be rinsing more of the color out of the hair. The same is true of gray blending. If you're really trying to get the very best gray results you can, then you may want to process with heat for 15 minutes 
and then let it cool down for five to 15 minutes before you um, rinse it from the hair. Again, if you're using a dryer, you wanna put a processing cap on the head to help it be moist. If you're using lamps or a steamer, then a processing cap is not necessary. But you can process them by color with or without heat as you choose. We have color, um, color refreshers that are part of our demi color system. They're designed to extend the color result. They can be customizable and they match the result. The color refreshers are deposit only color. They reconstruct the hair and they don't stain the tile or the walls or the grout or your hands or anything else around. Um, they're very simple to work with. And once you're familiar with demi color, it's really easy to build color refreshers. You use one ounce of demi color project. It can be mixed any combination of shades and you mix that with four ounces of constructor. If you look at the second bottle in here, the ref color refresher bottle, there's even a measuring mark on the bottle. There's a line where four ounces is and a line where five ounces is. So you fill the bottle with constructor up to four ounces, and then you go up to the five ounce line with the color formula. It can be any mixture of formulas and can also include clear. Um, you can use uh, zero, zero clear here as well to keep the pH down and you can create a customized formula to go with the permanent result or the demi result that you've created. To use the product at home, the guest will first cleanse their hair with the appropriate shampoo. This is not a shampoo, it is a color refresher. Then apply the color refresher to damp hair, leave it on for one to five minutes and then rinse it thoroughly from the hair. If the hair needs to be conditioned at this point, they could use any Bricado conditioner, um, fiber color conditioner or treatment, Cloud9, if they need uh, help with detangling or the health of the hair. They could also just spray and detangle spray or use Cloud9 mousse. But the key here is if they need to shampoo. Now, on the other hand, sometimes they don't really need their hair cleansed. It's not really dirty. They might rinse their hair thoroughly and apply the color refresher. Recommend that the guests use the color refresher until they find the tonality that they're happy with, and then they might want to alternate shampoo and color. They might alternate and not use color refresher every day. They maybe use it once or twice a week. The salon cost for you to do color refresher is $3.73 um, to $6.48. That depends on whether you're using liters of constructor or 8.5 ounce bottles of constructor. Uh, the suggested retail price is $16.95. So as you can see, there's a very nice margin in it for the salon. The bottles of color refresher are always a five ounce size. And the reason they're a five ounce size is because we want the guests to run out. I don't want them home with a bottle of 655 color refresher after I put red, bright blonde highlights through their entire head. Because if they grab the 655, it's going to turn their highlights bright pink. That's not really what they were looking for. So I want them to run out of color refresher between every color service they come to the salon for. It's a great add on retail opportunity. It does not compete with what they're currently buying for their hair. They still need Vibracolor shampoo and Vibracolor conditioner. This is just an extra thing to add richness to their color. It's also a great tool to expand your color business. It's a great way to say, we've got another option for you. Uh, you can do a promotion in May, for example, everyone who gets a highlight service for the summer gets a free color refresher. Well, it's free that time, and then they come back and pay $16.95 for it when they come back. The other thing you can do with color refreshers is you can use them to help you raise your permanent color price. If you have someone, if you would like to raise your price, um, for example, by $15, then raise your price from $75 to $90 for a color application. But now put up a sign that says, hey, all of our color prices include a free color refresher. Give away the color refreshers for a couple of months and then do away with the color refresher promotion. Your clients are all paying $90 and now they're buying the color refresher as well. Another thing that you might try or you might do is it's a great birthday gift. It's a great client thank you gift for referral because it's customized. It's made just for them. It's not like you pulled a product off the shelf and handed it to them. We, I know of some salons who also use this as a guaranteed color service. Would you like to have a regular color service or a guaranteed color service? The guaranteed color service costs a little bit more and includes a color refresher to take home. So that's an understanding of, of Bricado Color Project Permanent and Demi Color. A couple of things that I think will really help you in determining how to use the product is where is demi color a benefit? Where is permanent color a benefit? And when would I choose between the two? Um, so we've got some ideas and some thoughts about that. First of all, the real secret is when do you use demi instead of permanent? Because demi is a newer category, one that we don't necessarily gravitate to. Use demi color anytime you want to stay the same level, go darker, or stay the same level and change tone. I love my level six rich hair. I just wish it was a little redder. Great, I'll put red demi color on top of it and you'll have your tonal change. 
I love my level six color. No, I, 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 my level six color is fine. I just wish it was a little darker. I can take you to a five very easily with demi color. So I take you there with demi, and then it returns to your previous color. I have no regrowth. I have no great drama. I have no big change. You must use permanent color anytime you want to go lighter or brighter. Anytime if you've got a net level five and they want to be a level eight, I can't do that with demi color. I've got to use permanent color. If I'm a level five and I want to be a bright red, I can't do that with demi color. I'm going to have to do that with permanent color. So the lifting, when lifting is necessary, I'll need permanent color. If 100% gray coverage is necessary, I'll need permanent color. Brighter redheads and blondes, I need permanent color. Any other situation, demi color is your very, very best friend. Our goal is to avoid chemicals that aren't necessary. You do what you need to do for the guest, but don't expose them to a bunch of chemistry that isn't going to get them what they need. I always just kind of smile when people have a guest who's a natural level six, who just wants 10% of their, has 10% gray, and they apply a level six permanent color with 20 volume developer. Well, I've increased the porosity, which opens the, the, the challenge of, of fadage possibly. I've had to deal with the fact that there's lifting at the scalp area that doesn't take place on the strand. So if there's fadage, there's going to be a warm band. I also have to have them come back and, and get a touch up because their hair is going to change or age and it's going to be different than what's growing in. I could have done it very easily just with a demi color application and taken care of their healthy hair. Demi doesn't create remaining color, so it doesn't create unwanted warmth. That's a huge thing when dealing, dealing with men. Demi fades evenly to the starting color. If they were permanently colored previously and I put demi color on their hair, the demi color will fade off of the permanent color and I'll go back to where they were. Demi color gives you predictable color correction when you're using the color repigmenting guidelines. And for demi, double processes, demi color gives you perfect results. I was reading a book one day and it said the most perfect color service is a bleach and tone. Lift the color out of the hair and then create the final color by depositing color into the hair. Well, that's what permanent color does in one step, but it's not exactly predictable. A double process is perfectly predictable every time. Within the Ricardo Color Project, we also have lightening products that are designed to create highlights or lighter hair. We've got tools for foil highlights, ombre techniques, balayage techniques. We're great fans of techniques because that's really how lights are being used. Double process and corrective color are all tools that we use lightning for. The first lightning product is cream lights. Cream lights is designed specifically to be used with freehand lightning techniques. We've created a product that's exceptionally thick so that where you place it, it, it stays. It doesn't print, it doesn't move, it doesn't affect the surrounding hair. It can be used on or off the scalp and it contains essential oils that protect the hair and leave the hair in great condition. You mix it with two parts of rich cream developer, 10 or 20 volume if you're working on the scalp, 10, 20 or 30 volume for off the scalp. Cream Lights is designed to easily give you two to five levels of lift. It works for about 60 minutes, and then it's gently shampooed from the hair after the processing is complete. Now, one of the things that's magical about Cream Lights is in the world of balayage and in the world of ombre, we have classes that cover both balayage and ombre information and will help you um, learn techniques to use cream lights. One of the things that's so cool about cream lights is it is shampoo soluble. It must be shampooed from the hair or it won't leave. That makes double servicing very, very easy. Apply the cream lights highlights, then put a demi color over the top of the rest of the hair. The demi color won't go through the cream lights highlights. It will just color the hair that's around the highlights. When I go to the shampoo bowl, if I rinse thoroughly, I can rinse the demi color off the hair before the cream lights is, is accessible, then add some shampoo and remove the cream lights from the hair and I'll have the um, most dramatic highlights possible. On the other hand, if I want it more blended and, and more uh, work together, then I would apply a little bit of shampoo while I still had demi color in the hair. And then when I work that together, the cream lights start to break open and the demi color affects the result. You can see the difference within these two models. This first model is balayage and the darker shade of cream lights is totally protected from those highlights. The second model is an ombre model. And we talked about her before, how her hair was highlighted previously and we, and we let the, the tone, see how the tone is very similar between the highlight and the low light. And we let the, the 
um, demicolor imprint or affect that darker, that highlighted shade so the colors are closer in nature, closer, more closely blended together. Powder lights is our powder lightener. It's designed to be an all-purpose tool for any techniques. It has a soft, fresh fragrance. It's completely de-dusted. It's designed to be used both on the scalp or off the scalp, and it contains replenishing oils and collagen. The big magic ingredient here is collagen in terms of protecting the hair, leaving the hair very, very shiny. The blue base helps control unwanted warmth. We mix powder lights with two parts of rich cream developer. 20, 10 or 20 volume developer can be used on the scalp for whole head bleaching. 10, 20, 30, or 40 volume developer can be used off the scalp. It will lift up to seven levels and it stays active and working for up to 60 minutes. Powder lights is used for all traditional highlighting techniques. It's also our decolorizer that we use for removing color from previously colored hair. Vibracolor is our fade preventive regimen that's designed to enhance the life and brilliance of any hair color. It's paraben and sulfate free. These are the suggested retail products that should go home with every guest receiving a color service. The color stability complex helps protect the hair from fadage, from oxidation, and helps keep the hair healthy. The sunscreen blend helps protect the hair from outside forces and, and protects the hair from oxidizing as a result of um, UVA and UVB rays. The moisture complex, especially in vibracolor treatment, helps keep the hair shiny and flexible and rich looking. It helps keep it a strong, beautiful finish. So that's a quick overview of our permanent color, demi-permanent color, semi-permanent color, and blonding systems. Um, we want to point out a couple of things about the Beautiful Business Network because they really en enrich your success when you're working with color. If you look at the different levels of Beautiful Business, Above the silver level, you get additional points per dollar if you're using professional color systems. And if you're using professional color systems and our smoothing systems, Curl Interrupted and Super Silk, you can get three points per dollar at a gold level and four points per dollar at a platinum level. So the rewards really accelerate when you're working with the permanent color systems and the demi-permanent system to increase your spending on the silver level, the gold level, and the platinum level. For salons that are thinking of being exclusive, we also have a diamond level that offers you 25% more points, and that's for salons that carry Bricado exclusively and don't have other brands within their salon. Within the reward system, you can earn back bar leaders and styling products, sample sizes, but there's also a lot of color tools that you can earn. A constructor for creating your color refreshers, 10 ounce clear and 10 ounce diluter, as well as swatch books. For permanent color, you can, you can get powder lights, cream lights, and all of the developers with BBN points. You can also get swatch books, vibra color, and tools that you can use for your color business. There's ways to get involved if you're not currently involved with Bricado. Your sales with Bricado Color, your sales consultant can help you. You have two different primary, three different primary systems. Our um, $5.99 package is both demi color and permanent color together. Our 299 package is only permanent color, and our 129 package is only demi-permanent color, and your distributors have all the information on what's available in your market and what they have to be able to help you. Um, we already did a vibra color commercial. There are also two vibra color permanent promotions that are always available to you. Um, color basics and color extras, these are pre-packaged. Check with your distributor and make sure that you know about them. There are kits that you can have for sale in your salon at all times. Save 27% on three different Vibracolor products. Save 29% on four other products designed to support and to assist you in, in working with color-treated hair. Our goal in 2013 is to educate, inform, and offer you many events and opportunities. And the premier event we have available for you this year, as Sam said, is the New York Academy. Our Academy dates are in October, June, August, with two dates in October. In, or one in April, one in June, August, and two in October. It's exciting because we've actually decreased the price of the Academy, and the Academy now includes two haircuts and two color techniques. So the Bricado Color Project has been thoroughly engaged and absorbed into the Academy and what we're doing with Bricado Academy. I'd encourage you to check our online resources and look at the tools that we have available. There are videos, signs, posters, and a number of other things that you can access at BricadoToday.com. 
If you have any questions or need more information, please feel free to reach out to us at our 800 number. The 800 number is uh, 800-243-0275, and they can direct your questions to our technical hotline or to a distributor or to someone who can help you. So I'd encourage you to check us out on Facebook, check us out on our website, check us out on Facebook, and uh, really take time to get to know Bricado. We have YouTube channel and YouTube videos that are all uploaded. They can help you with your color as well as help you grow your business. So I want to thank you for your time and thank you for spending this afternoon with us. It is a, it is a lot of information and we know that it can make a really big difference in building success within your salon, specifically creating a synergy between the retail area at the front of your salon and the service products that you're using like Ricardo Color Project, Ricardo Curl Interrupted, and Super Silk can all connect together to help you be more successful and help you grow your business. So I want to thank you for that and open up the mics, um, open Michelle and Sam up if you've got any comments or questions for us. And if you have any questions, feel free to raise your hand or type a question and we'll read the question out and answer it and do our best to get you any information that we can that can help you. Uh, Michelle? Is Michelle still here? She's still here. I can see her name. Sam, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Um, I, I wrote down a, a, a number of things, and, and I just want to mainly say, job really well done, Gary. Um, one of the things I thought very early on was how it's exciting to really be a, a, a small company that's not uh, corporately affiliated. Even some of the brand newest color lines that have come out are under corporate banners on a very large scale. And Gary, you mentioned earlier that this is made from scratch. And, 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 it, and it is. And what we have done here is, is create an environment where the, where the guest actually will comment that the air smells cleaner and clearer. And when I, after spending almost four decades in this business and would plan to spend another two or three, um, I want to be in a fresh, alive, and, and, and exciting environment where people feel healthy. They, they don't run in the back room and think, oh, God, I'm going to regret this one day. But they're very, they feel fresh and alive and colorful in their salon environment, and that the guests actually know that. And that is not done by aromatherapy fragrances or masking fragrances. It's by chopping the gas off. There's no gas off of ammonia here. And it's by continuing to utilize the most efficient way to, to cause hair to, to absorb color and color works so well. And that is with the ammonia that we use. So I, I could go on forever. I am so passionate about this idea of making a, an environment that's healthy for our, 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 our entire um, network of people that we work with. That's why Super Silk um, is becoming more and more accepted because of evidence from aldehyde. And, and it, is, it is a safe and, and very good alternative to, to getting defrizzing the hair. So thank you so much, all of you guys, for listening in. Um, let's, let's color this world with Ricardo Color Project this year in just an exciting way. And Gary, thank you so much for such a great job. I mean, I can see you so. listening to you all. That's all for me. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm going to stay tuned in, but I'm going to mute out. Thank you. Michelle? Yeah, I'm here. I, sorry, I was plugging in my headphones. Um, I just want to thank everybody for hanging out for the last 94 minutes. It was a lot of information. Gary, I know I usually share the load with you, and you did such a great job um, this evening delivering all the information to everyone. Um,